the discovery of perchlorate on Mars had several implications. Uh, immediate was the, the chemistry of Mars. It's uh, perchlorate itself is very stable, um, but the things that make perchlorate that go to perchlorate, like chloride to perchlorate, form very strong oxidants. And this, this might be lead us to suspect that maybe the surface of Mars is very oxidizing and sterilizing for life on the surface of Mars. On the other hand, perchlorate is an energy source for bacteria on Earth. So subsurface on Mars, it's possible that there could be an ecosystem that thrives using the perchlorate that's formed in the atmosphere and then lands on the surface. So in that way, it's important for life. Secondly, um, if we ever wanted to set up a colony there, uh, it'd be great. You have a ready source for oxygen, uh, fuel, uh, and then water. What else would you want? There is one Mars meteorite known as EETA 79001. It's one of the original Mars meteorites, very large one. Uh, in the middle of it, there are some salts that are concentrated. And it appears that from our recent uh, research that these salts are the mostly the original salts that were on Mars. And it shows that there's a perchlorate. We've identified perchlorate in the Martian meteorite uh, in two forms. And we've also identified nitrate. And some of our tests show that there's a, a reasonable, a good probability that these are from Mars. And it also shows that if it's true that nitrate also exists on Mars, which is an exciting finding in lots of ways. Curiosity has recently, uh, they've discovered uh, a similar um, chloromethane and dichloromethane compounds in their instrument that the Viking landers had discovered back in 1976. Uh, these indicate that there are, is probably is perchlorate at those landing sites also. Um, that's important because it probably it is shows that perchlorate may be ubiquitous on Mars uh, since it's been discovered in several places, including the meteorite that we have discovered perchlorate in is probably from a different place on Mars. Again, the significance of this perchlorate, which is at pretty high levels on Mars in terms of both life, past life, present life, oxidizing, and future habitats, uh, is very important. So um, our research ties in very well to Curiosity and supports. They've supported what we discovered, and our new discoveries on the meteorite supports what seems to be very clearly a ubiquitous uh, distribution of perchlorate and maybe nitrate on the planet.